Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you the video preferences in Reaper. I have a project in front of me here with a video and some audio. Let's take a look at the video preferences. We'll go to the options menu and choose preferences. Then we'll scroll down to media and video Rex miscellaneous. And this section over here deals with video. Right up top, we have the output. By default, it's going to be automatic, which is going to use the project or media color space. So it's based on the color space of the videos we bring in. But if we want to change it, we could change them right here to RGB or any of the other options. We could also show the available decoder information right over here, which opens up this file and we can see the decoder information. We could adjust the video output delay right over here. Now this is useful because video works with frames, so it can be hard to line things up perfectly. But if you want to change the output, we could do it right here in milliseconds, either in a positive direction or negative to move the video around our audio. And we could also disable the high resolution peaks for video items, which will help performance when you zoomed in. Then down over here, we could adjust the video decoder priority. By default, it starts with VLC and moves on to QuickTime. If you want to change the order of the priority, we could do it here just by typing in a different order or copying and pasting it like that. We'll put it back to the default right here. Now down over here, we can decide what we see when we move audio over our video. So if we turn this option off and move some audio around the video, it doesn't update the video. We don't see it changing over here although it'll change during playback. But as we move the audio, we don't see anything in the video window. But by default, this is on, so it's gonna show our video based on the mouse cursor position. So if I move it, what we're seeing in the video screen is based on where the mouse is placed. For example, let's zoom in Let's say we want to find the spot where she closes her eyes. Right there. Let's say we want to move the audio right over here to line up with that. We could put our mouse right here and place it so we can see exactly where she closes her eyes. Right there. So now if we play it back, as soon as we get to this spot, she closes her eyes. So we can line it up using our mouse. But we could also line it up based on the start of the audio item. So let's say we want to find where she closes her eyes and have the song start there. We can grab it, and what we're seeing in this window is based on the start of this item. So again, we can find that spot where she closes her eyes. Now the song is going to start exactly there. But we could also do it based on the snap offset, which is one of my favorite ways to do this. We could switch it right here, snap offset of audio item, then we can put our cursor in the lower left corner and create a snap offset. Let's put it right at the transient right here. And now what we're going to see in the video window is based on this point right here, not the mouse and not the start of the audio item. So again, we can move it to find that spot where she closes her eyes right there. Now this is going to line up with the video where she closes her eyes, 
like this. Perfect. So it's based on the snap offset. But again, we can change it right here. And the default is the mouse cursor position. Now we could also auto rotate our videos and images when we import them. So by default, this is on. So when we bring things in with orientation tags, they're going to be rotated correctly. But we can always switch them later by right clicking, go to video item properties, and switch it over here from normal, vertical flip, horizontal flip, rotate it 180 degrees or 90 degrees in either direction. We'll put it back to the default, which is normal. That's going to happen automatically with this option turned on. Then we could also adjust the still image thumbnail for pictures. So if I scroll over here, this image over here is a picture. We can see a thumbnail for it right here. And by default, it's going to be center tile image. So if I trim it out, it's going to tile it. But we could change it to be no thumbnail, full height, or stretch image. But the default is center tile image, which looks like this. Now, if you notice, the image is looping right here. So that looping is based on the length of our preference right over here. If we change it to 500, each loop is only 500 milliseconds long. But if we want to change that, we can change it right here with the default length. Put it back to the default of 1,000, and it loops every full second, or 1,000 milliseconds. Now, besides the preferences, we also have project settings for video. We can go to the File menu and choose Project Settings right here. We'll just choose the button over here. And these are the project settings for this project. But right over here, we have video project settings, where we can adjust the frame rate, the preferred video size. If we keep it blank, it's going to use the video size based on the video we import. But we could also change the video item visibility. And this is based on priority for tracks. So by default, the higher number tracks replace the lower number tracks. So let's see how this works. Right over here, I have two video files. Right now, this track number is higher. It's track two, this is track one. So if we play it, this video takes over because there's media on this track. It starts with this one, and then track two gets priority. If we want it to work the opposite way, we could change it right here. So the lower number tracks get priority. So now this track has priority over this one. So we're not going to see this video unless this track has no media on it in that section. We just see this one. But if we split it, we're going to see this video when this track has no media in this section. Because once again, the lower number track has priority over the high number track. But it's not like that by default. By default, it's the opposite. Where the high number track has priority over the lower number track. So we see this, even though this track is still playing. So that's pretty much it. That's the video preferences in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Thank mm -hmm. you.